It wasn't very long ago that folks thought they were doing their part by recycling bottles, cans, and cardboard. And like you, the folks in Portland, Oregon are big recyclers. But Portlanders have come to realize there's a lot more to being green than recycling. The Natural Step. The reason the natural step isn't better known here is because, currently, the only natural step organization in the U.S. is located in Portland, Oregon. The natural step is a framework of principles grounded in natural science that, over the past 20 years, have gained worldwide acceptance. The natural step principles serve as a guide for businesses, communities, educators, governments, and individuals on the path toward sustainable development. The first step of the natural step principles reminds us that in a sustainable society, nature is not subject to systematically increasing concentrations of substances extracted from the Earth's crust. The second step reminds us that in a sustainable society, nature is not subject to systematically increasing concentrations of substances produced by society. The third step reminds us that in a sustainable society, nature is not subject to increasing degradation by physical means. And the fourth step reminds us that in a sustainable society, people are not subject to conditions that systematically undermine their capacity to meet their needs. The businesses we're going to visit next, a Couture fashion designer and an organic winemaker, both apply the principles of the natural step to their operations. All of these incredible publications, Vogue, Elle, Women's Wear Daily, all of the major publications in the fashion industry and in other industries are picking up on this. Sustainability is talked about. I've been in most of these publications, which is just a, an honor and a very exciting movement. And what's in it for us? A world that we can live in, a world that our kids can live in, a, a better respectful relationship that is give and take with the systems and each other. It's really amazing and exciting to see it happen and it feels good. Anna Cohen is a young Portland fashion designer who trained in both New York and Italy. Anna is one of a number of Portland designers whose dream is to move the fashion industry towards sustainability by following the principles of the natural step. This is from Oaxaca, and um, these guys have had a lot of struggle recently, and I wanted to support the community there. The materials we use generally are soy blends, organic cotton, um, hemp, bamboo, uh, we've been looking at seaweed lately. There are, there are new developments happening all the time. Injeo is a corn-based fiber. Um, there are lots of choices out there as far as how we can kind of tap into many areas in, in sustainable fabrics. We'll move forward with a lightweight drapey knit. We've been looking at replacing it with the seaweed. This soy top has no accessories on it. It has no um, findings or hook and eye or any metal, any... Uh, that's very intentional. We try to design simply so that it can be taken apart and it can go back into the earth in the best way possible. You know, we could actually use the entire width of this mm -hmm. for this particular piece. I think it will drape really well. Mm -hmm. And there is the, the, the thread and the hand spun. I know it's hand woven, but you is know, the thread I mean, spun by hand or is it spun by mechanical? It's our responsibility as manufacturers and creators of these products to provide people with this on a market, competitive market level. And that's what makes sustain, a sustainable company completely successful. We wake people up and feel, feel great about it and they wake other people up and at the same time we're providing product that's beautiful and and competitive. It's, it's a great cycle to be part of. I think that's part of the commitment to sustainability is to slow down and, and start to be aware of the decisions that we're making and that we are voting with our dollar 
It's, uh, you make a statement every time you make a purchase. It's very important to be intentional with those statements. Most likely, if something is, is very inexpensive, it's probably been produced in a manner that is not sustainable, in a way that hurts the people that are working on the product. It's been a mass manufacturing situation. So when you can get organic cotton, get organic cotton. When you can get bamboo, get bamboo over other existing fabrics that are produced in ways that are not necessarily taking into consideration the environment. Everybody's loved this. We've had huge good feedback from buyers. Remember these aren't the actual buttons. They're a size bigger than this. We need to supply something beautiful, something inspiring and amazing and competitive in the market that we're selling so that people can easily make a shift. It doesn't feel any different than any other choice they would make. It's just as amazing as the other product. It's as far as aesthetic and function. However, it's so much better because it's sustainable. It's got natural systems that are being respected and honored in the process. So how could you possibly choose that over this?